Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 19 of Galactic Science, a mud pack by Caitlin. So in the last episode, I had another, I added another flower power here because I wanted to put some speed and fortune upgrade in here to try and accelerate the processing of my resource because I really need a lot more resource and I was looking at this, look at the quantity of iron I have and tin, silver and some gold and everything, it's just not getting processed fast enough. I should probably maybe add another automatic hammerer, but for the time being, I'm just going to stay that way. Also, um, I worked on the automated decomposition of obsidian to make both uh, gravel and some uh, moon turf. I'm going to have to take care of this soon and put a voider like on the oxygen barrel. But there's something way more important today. We are stuck in progression because of dash. We need more dash. And I wanted to study the command, uh, the builder block more before moving on because I still don't understand why that thing, even though I'm choosing a block at the bottom and a block lower, keeps just breaking block higher. It makes no sense to me. There's really something wrong with my understanding of the cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab everything from here and I'm going to go to Mars and set it on Mars because anyway, to be fair, on Mars, I'm not really caring about the fact that it's going to be on, uh, that it could grab thing from above. I'm going to set it on the ground and just, you know, mine everything that I can. And I want to start getting get dash as soon as possible. So now that we have teleporters and a lot of power, this is not a problem. We can just quickly go over to Mars. I'm just going to grab my two other oxygen tank first and then set it up as soon as possible so that we can start getting some sweet, sweet Mars stuff. So let me get here, take the two oxygen tank and let's go to Mars. Mm -hmm. Should be very easy with the teleportation. It's just crazy fun being able to go from one place to another with a single whoosh start teleportation and we're in Mars. Wow, that was hard. So no, not really, it wasn't hard. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this, these cable, because I don't want to move the uh, this setup. I want to keep it here. Stop burning. Okay, and I'm going to just do like that and bring it here and set that one to insert. Whoa, just one click. Set that to insert. I'm going to break this open right here. Oh, thank God it's day. I was wor worried that it was not going to be day. So let me bro break this right here and I'll make it a way out right here. Nope. Denied. Let me get out this way. Perfect. I'm just going to break that because I want to put a block to make sure that I can get out of there. And can I break this? Hmm. I hope it's not going to interfere with my, my cable. Yes, of course, it's going to interfere with my cable. So let's bring it down here and bring it over right like so. Perfect. And we're going to set up the command block right here. Obviously, I have to go one higher like so, because I'm going to send uh, the command block, the builder block. I'm going to set the builder block right here, and I'm going to set this chest right here on top to collect everything. Then we need power, of course. So this is like, this is what I'm hesitant about. Let me just go back here downstairs. I set up a sterling right here to generate power. And I kind of have a start of a lava flower power. And of course, I forgot to bring some derp. I completely forgot to bring some more bucket or iron. So even if I put this right here it's not going to do much of anything do i even have power cable five yeah okay so that's not what i wanted to do but that's that's what i'm gonna have to end up doing for now and i'm probably gonna come back and reconnect this in a better manner after so let me just put the sterling generator right next to it right here and then where's my h barrel it's, uh, where did I put it? Right here. Perfect. Let me break some more of this. Oh, this is breaking so, so I should have gotten rid of the, um, should have gotten rid of the barrel first, just to not get the debuff. So let's put the barrel down right here. This is set to extract, always active without signal, and this is set to insert. 
So now, yeah, I'm getting a lot of H, and I have 83 stacks. So it's not going to last forever, but it should last for long enough. Let me grab my shape card, and I'm going to click right, uh, sorry, shift right click the machine. Now select the first corner. Now select the first corner. Now I have to go select the second corner. So let me go down this way like this, and then I'm going to go down that way a couple of block. Let me go up a little bit higher right here. And I'm going to put myself in 3x3 three three and I'm just going to dig way down. I want to dig down to, um, to bedrock because basically what I want right now is I want dash. And dash, I think, comes down lower, which is also one of the reasons I was trying to get my base to the point where, uh, on, in my base, that I was going to be able to dig under so that I could figure out how to get an under part. Because ideally here, I would have liked to start the digging down more around Y40. Like, and I don't have a position because there's no minimap in this uh, Galactic Science 1, but I would have gotten the... Um, I would have gotten the uh, Y40 by basically going down till I hit bedrock and then just going back up 40. That's how hard it is to find Y40 in this game. And hopefully I'm not going to fall into a cavern because it's going to be a big drop, but I'm full on health, so I shouldn't die. I'm full on health, but I'm not full on food. Did I bring any food with me? Yeah, so let's, let's not take any chance and let's just eat a little bit. In case, you know, better never take any chance. Let me get rid of some... Oh, I don't need to. I'm still good. I'm not grabbing these. I don't know why I wasn't grabbing these, but it's. I still don't have a, a magnet. Thinking of it, I said I was going to make an item magnet. And this is the first quarry that I'm officially setting up, but I'm probably going to set the next quarries or the change of position of this quarry on my own time so that there's you don't guys don't have to wait and watch me do this so I'm gonna put this block down right here and I'm gonna shift no <sighs> so that was derpy of me let me go back up and here's what I'm going to do I don't want to fall too far down so I'm just going to make some platform like this so that I can go back up and fall back down in a manner that I'm not going to, you know, die when I fall down. And I heard a mob sound. I'm hoping that it's coming from a cavern and not from the top. No, that's not what I want. Let's continue going back up. Wow, this was very far deep. So in case you guys didn't see, what I really derped about is that I hit shift right click instead of right click oh it's night great so i didn't come here early enough and now i'm in a position where i'm probably going to have mobs when i get up top side so not the best of time because i don't want to have to come back here later i wanted to set this right now so it's one of those situations where i needed it to work the first time around uh there's still no mob I might be a bit luckier than I should be. And I have a tele uh, teleposer that's going to teleport me automatically. So shift right click, right click, and then let's go back in the hole. And yeah, there's mobs around. Where's my hole? Oh, really? They're camping my hole. I can't believe this crap. What are you doing at my hole? Okay, explode and kill the skeleton. Perfect. Well, perfect. Almost perfect. Let me go down my hole. I'll be safe down there. And fall and fall and wow. This is hurting. But not enough to kill me, so that's a good point. Let me go down. I'm almost at the bottom. <laughs> this is hurting so much. And click. New settings copy to shape card. And here's how you cheat. You get in here. You grab your charge porter and you say, bye bye Mars. Come back to the main base. Ooh, don't forget to <laughs> recharge your fast teleportation first. 
I'm going to put that in here and wait for it to be fully recharged because we're going to Mars and we want to be able to come back. So, wow, this is recharging slowly. Oh, sorry. It's like I thought this was showing the recharge, but the recharge actually I have to be on it to see the recharge. So I'm just finishing this recharging because I'm going to go back to Mars and I want to be able to come back home safe. When I teleport back on Mars, I'm actually going to be on my um, in the base, inside the base. So no, we're all oh, did I close back the hole? Well, this might be more of an adventure than I thought it was going to be. But you know what? I'm not going to shy away from doing this. I'm just going to go back and hope for the best and hope for no creepers. So let's go. Let's just refill completely. Perfect. And let's go back. Teleport. Start teleportation. Whoosh. Perfect. And oh, I have X. So first of all, did I close back? That's the most important question right now. Did I close back the entry to the base? Nope. Let's do that right now. Perfect. Now that I'm safe, I still have access to my builder thing from here. So let's right click it and put this in. Perfect. And I'm going to try and can I put it at the bottom? Wow. Derp City Max 10. I can't believe I forgot to change the mode. So the RR pickaxe, really amazing. But when you're a big derp like me, maybe not the best tool to be using. Let's put down a block right here. Let's put that right. Oh, no. It's not in the right position. Oh, I also got rid of my sterling generator. That's just amazing. I'm just looking around to make sure that I don't die. Sterling generator right here. Perfect. This is working. I'm going to go on the other side to put the... And turn it on. Is it working? Oh, it seems to be working. It's using power. And tons of stuff. Perfect. So let me set that to extract always active. Active without signal, I mean. And let's get back in the base before they finally figure out where I am and start attacking me. Would also be a great call to close this. Perfect. So now my base is kind of secured again. And haha, <laughs> perfect. So the only one problem that I'm going to have right now, the only one problem is that I'm not actually, um, how can I say this? <sighs> I'm stuck on a word again. So the only one problem with this is, oh, it's not going fast enough. Like if you look at this chest, no, if you look at this chest, can I click it without derping too much? If you look, oh, already a dash. So it's not emptying fast enough. And the reason it's not emptying fast enough is that I do not have any speed upgrade in there and it's out of power. So in the beginning, it was working super fast because it was full of power. And I really need to put down a lava flower power here. I don't have any bucket. I don't have anything, but at least I'm starting to get some dash. And this is stuck again. So this teleportation method, oh, it's just not updating the count, I guess. No, it legitimately see, seems to be stuck. So I'm going to have to go back to base to see why it's stuck. But technically, this is um, this is how I did the setup the first time. There's another way of doing this transfer that always works. And it's called a dimensional transceiver, which sends both power. So we wouldn't need the power set up here and sends and transport back item. Just one tiny problem with that. You need an octatic. I can do that. You need an ender crystal. What's an ender crystal? Soul vial enderman with a vibrant crystal. Hmm. Not quite ready to do that yet. And an ender resonator with an enderman head. Also not ready to do that yet. For that, we're going to have to start farming enderman. It's probably becoming urgent. And that's probably the next thing I want to set up. So when I'm looking at this, it's actually transferring over. And you know what? I'm just going to break this. And the reason I'm going to break this is I do believe that the item conduit's faster. So I'm going to set the active without signal and I'm going to set that to insert. Oh, it did start working, I think. Well, now it's filling. It's not emptying. So it's not a easy thing to see. 
So I really need to put some speed upgrade all around. And these speed upgrades are pretty easy to do. So that's something we're going to have to concentrate on. I'm going to have to make a couple of these item conduit speed upgrade, which are basically electrical steel, iron, and some piston. So we can go back to base and make a couple of those. Uh, whenever I need to go back to base, I prefer using my charge porter to the actual platform because I can always easily recharge my charge porter at base, whereas this one, it's going to need to take the power from here, so it might take longer to recharge. This is still working. I just want to... Oh. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure that it was still working properly, but I guess I thought better and decided to teleport. <laughs> Let's go put that back right now into charge to charge. And we're going to look at why it didn't seem to be pulling anything from here. So if I look at this, 864, 23, is it even taking anything out? So I get some Mars stone. Mars observe. Oh yes, it is going up. So it's it's just slow. Let's try to solve that. What goes faster? This. Let's put that on active without signal. Let's set that to none and let's set that to insert. And now we can always give it a little end by clicking, mass clicking on it and removing stuff like so. And now it should get the next item. Please, hello, give me the next item. Wow, this Jebba barrel thing, it seems to become buggy. It's something that, honest to God, it works super well in my last update. It is enabled and it should grab stuff from the other one. I really don't know why it's not working. So let's put some of that dash to cooking. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I always count eight because when you put it in here, it's a perfect 64. And that was empty. Let me just not get rid of this. Let me get rid of those two things. And I'm going to put this away, that away, that away, that away. And I'm going to make some bucket like I forgot to do. I should have made the buckets before leaving. So one, two, three, four, five, six nine perfect so that's three more buckets like so and let's go back to the mars base to see what's going on because we need the bucket to be able to make everything work faster well to get more power and we'll get more power basically by connecting some more sterling and sending more power although i'm looking at these aluminum wires i don't have enough of them so let me grab one two three Let's just make a couple more of them. Do you still have string though? That's the one thing I forgot to do. In the last time lapse, I wanted to keep the episode short and I forgot to go replant my tree and harvest them. It's just, it's not that it was going to take too long. It's just that I just forgot about it and didn't have time to do it. Well, not didn't have time to do it, just forgot about it. Let's be honest. So this is on extract and it is extracting and now it's showing. Is this not working? Only option owner, shape square. Well, this is, this should be working or either that or it's emptying faster than it's actually getting in. There seems to be some visual bug and it's keeping empty. So I'm going to say that it's going kind of well-ish is what I'm going to go with. Uh, let me grab some sterling. I made a crap ton of sterling in the last episode. I was just tired of not having enough. So with these three, I'm going to need some more buckets. And now I see the default in that setup. The problem is how do I access? But it's a really easy and simple thing to fix. Let's put myself in three by three and go like this. And we're just going to go back in one by in single block, remove that one. And the reason I'm removing that one, nope, I don't want to teleport, is that I can have access here. And I'm just going to single lock i'm just going to go under here like this and now i can put the other sterling right here and now i have my four sterling i'm going to put some buckets in here configure io so i'm going to be in and out oh, in out here in out here in out here and this one was already set so perfect and now we're mass producing power yes sir no more problem 
Let's bring that up here and you know what? I think I didn't make enough cable. Isn't that amazing, folk? So let me break this right here and this right here and let's try to bring it over. And this is just one derp after another today. Like so and bring it around. And no, it's definitely not going to be enough. But I'm going to count how many I, ha I need because if I need to come back here, at least I'll come back better prepared. So, no, I don't want to teleport. You just have to be careful. So I'm missing, no, I'm missing how many and can I get this without teleporting? So I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ugh. So I needed only two more craft of this. Let's go back home. Is this full? Is this full? Yeah. So let's go back home. And I'm using the teleportation I said I preferred not using. But now that I have four uh, sterling on lava power, I don't mind quite as much. It's just, it's like removing one of the way out. So I came back here to get some more uh, cable and hopefully I can make the more cable. Let me just check. So that's going to give me six, which is Mm, I'm afraid not going to give me enough. I just counted it, but math, you know, now I'm thinking I need seven. And this is only six. Do I have any left here or here? Or here? Nope. Or here? Great. I don't think I have enough left. But, but, I have a semi kind of solution for that. It's called a capacitor. It also has the advantage of accruing power if I need to. So I need now four basic capacitor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, two gold and four iron. Did I get the four iron? I have five, five's enough and four of these. So let's just do a quick craft job, this, and then let's transform those into golden nugget and go like this with the copper that's going to make the eight capacitor eight basic capacitor sorry and then if i go capacitor in the centers like this this and the iron around oh that's going to give me a cap oh, really i just checked the recipe and i couldn't even remember that simple fact oh derp very simple it's not a glowstone block. It's a redstone block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I should have known that because everything that's power related, it's always redstone. So let me just click it in. It's easier that way. Perfect. And now we can go back. And I just wanted to check here if things were coming in. So 30, 43, 47. There's still the 42 there. So I ran out of power on the Mars end, or it's really just not working. If I come back and look into this, it is emptying as it goes. Well, there's something really weird going on here, but I'm just going to ignore it for now because, you know, all of the best actions are ignore action. Not really. Okay, so let's just finish connecting that. And yeah, whew, it was seven that I needed. I almost screwed that one up. And the funny thing is that it's going up by 70, which means that this is, huh, it's not going up, but at least it's working faster. Because technically this carries 7, 720 per cable, if I remember correctly, and I have power accruing here. So I'm not quite sure why it's not transferring all of the power, but at least now it's harvesting a lot more. Look at how fast this is. So I'm getting a ton of cobble. And I'm just going to put 10 here. And I'm feeling like I don't need any speed upgrade. This seems to be going fast enough. This is already recharged also, so now I can go back home. So let's go back home and let's start working on uh, actually, let's go teleport, on actually processing the resource kind of worried about the fact that things seems to not transport though unless they're going to another chest that i'm not seeing this doesn't seem to be going up 
So 29, 30. Oh no, this is going up. So this is now working. It's just a weird visual glitch, which worries me a lot. But if I am getting resource, I'm better move on and stop worrying. So the best thing to set up as my first sieving is probably going to be the Mars subsurface rock. And the reason I'm saying that is that with the Mars subsurface rock, I don't need to cook them. It's a 1% chance, but I don't need to cook them. Whereas the Mars cobblestone, I do need to cook them, which is less than ideal, but I'm probably going to set up a cooking uh, mechanism to cook them because this five stack, it's not going to last. We're going to run out faster than we would want to. So now let's go see downstairs where my setup could be. I create another lava flower power here and I can actually add another one on this side. When I add another one on this side I'm going to get 20, 40, 60, 80 which means two sieves with a couple of upgrade and I know that my barrel system is about here so I'm probably going to try and set up a automated way to cook the Mars cobblestone and send it over here to sieve. Or even the sieve could be around here because I can bring the power over to them. So that's what I'm going to be setting up. But that as a setup, it's a very straightforward sieving setup. It's something that can be done during a time lapse. It doesn't actually need to be completely shown because it's not the first time we do a setup like that. What I wanted to do with you guys was take a look at the quests. Going up in the world, like I said, the going up in the world is a tier 3 rocket. I don't want to get started on it right now because there's still so many things I haven't set up or worked on yet. Especially more power and if I look at my resource, I'm getting more and more iron, but if that wasn't even enough iron for a tier 1 rocket, so how would it even be enough for a tier 2? And also the tier 3 rocket requires a lot of dash. If we look again at the tier 3, like so, all of these plate, they all need a compressed dash. So right now this is already 10 dash. And we have three more here, so that's 13 dash. And then these are fine. These I think also need, yeah, see, 4, 4. So 4, 8, 16. No, 4, 8, 12, 16. Plus 10, 26. Plus 3, 29 plus another four here is 33. So we need at least 33 dash and we only have the 10 for now. If I come here and look at this, I don't have any accrued here, which means that the mine, although we got really lucky and in the beginning it grabbed eight right from the beginning, it didn't grab any more since then. So we're not gonna have a lot of dash in the short term. I could probably be doing these and someone's been suggesting that I craft an air bubble just so that I, I can have an easier time not having to deal with oxygen all the time. The only problem I see with the air bubble is I wouldn't know where to put it. I would either put it here, this is kind of my crafting center, but as the game moves on we're going to spend more and more time around those mine cam fusion machine and fission machine so maybe the bubble would be better here. Maybe I could even do two bubbles. But to do that, I'm going to want more power. And see, it's already processed all of my uh, cobblestone creation into, how many do I have? Five times 64, five stacks of double compressed. So what was the quest for that? I was bad at math. Is a task to make quintuple. So I'm kind of sure I don't have enough. But I'm curious enough that I want to try it. So let me grab all of my compressed cobble because that would be an easy quest to complete. I'm going to say double compress into triple, make all of it, and then triple into quadruple, and no. So I'm basically missing each of these quadruple compress is 6,500. I'm basically missing another five, five times six, so around 30,000 compressed cobblestone. So I'm going to put back the double there and it means five stack wasn't enough to get halfway there. So we need more than another five stack. So now we know until get, this gets to seven stack, there's no point really looking at it. What I could do is make the production of cobblestone faster. And how do you make the production of cobblestone faster? By putting an extra world interaction upgrade. 
And I think I just got one as a, oh, I have two. So for the time being, let's put these two in there because look at the production. It went up way faster. So now I should be able to start creating more cobblestone faster. Let's continue looking at the quest because that's not the one that's going to do me in. For the roly poly, I could probably start decomposing all my cake, uh, cacao uh, to try and get all of the carbon that I need. If I look at the cacao, it's, how does it decompose? I just want to take a quick look into tannic acid and bromine. That's already seven per, and this is seven times 10 plus C times six but it's a 40% chance. And if I'm going to do that, I really need to have a decomposer set up to extract and put in some barrel easily because don't forget to double decompose. You have to first decompose the cocoa and then the, the tubrine and the tannic acid. So it's actually a triple decompose. So I'm gonna have to set up a decomposer for that. Let's look at the other quest that I could do. The, I don't really miss him. Who would? You have the ability to create the nether star without even thinking about the wither. And it wants us to craft a nether star. Let me just show that to you one second. So nether star, been trying to keep this a secret for a little while now. But you can get a nether star in a blood altar, we don't have that, or this way. By a shape crafting of three stacks of helium, okay? Uh, sorry, four stack of helium, three stack of hydrogen, one stack of carbon, one stack of Copernicum at 112 and 60,000 RF. So it's not that expensive for this. The H is easy. The helium is really easy. The carbon is also easy. Like all of these are fairly easy. The helium we get from breaking some oxygen because you break some oxygen into beryllium and then you break the beryllium down into the other one. It's not that expensive. The problem is the Copernicum because the Cop uh, Copernicum is 112. And with the 112, there's two ways to go around it. Either we start from this. So I look in here, we can start not with the, with the Francium or the Plutonium or the Rutherfordium that I created and add the right element. But this is nowhere close to a stack. And if we look at it again, we need, oh, we only need 16. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven plus five uh that's 13 yeah we could probably do it but did you see the amount of power that's going to be it's just like it's hard to imagine but it's a crazy amount of power right now we're not producing enough power to be able to easily do this and say oh we've done it it's working super well it's something that would be very very slow because if i go back to the fusion machine right here Look at the power, not even at 1%. And I have four instanium. I didn't even know I'd put more in there. So it's been doing these, but I'm not being cre producing the ender pearls. And you guys know I love ender pearls. So let's just get these out of the way right now. Like so. Four more ender pearl. Perfect. We need so many ender pearls that every one I can get is a good thing. Perfect. Nether star. I also want to go a bit further because next electric crusher, um, uncharged nether star, depleted nether star. See, I thought that there was a way of crafting a nether star directly. Let me check something at mine cam because when we look at the mine cam, I didn't go so far, but when you're looking at this router, forgem, dubnium, seaborgium, all of these. Look at how they're going, 112, 113, oh, 198, Mimlinium. If you guys are big into Minecraft, you probably have an idea that Mim is something. Mim is mind your, mind your mind or mind your mind. It's a Minecraft group. And then you have Slindium, and I think Slee is a YouTuber. Shetwinium is a either a YouTuber or someone that's helped uh, Caitlyn work on the on this pack. If you go in the current Caitlyn Discord, you'll see this person as being very active. Then Raytechium, if you guys don't know who Raytech is, well, he's another 
I think he's an Australian YouTuber who does a lot of Minecraft content. And then you got Generic Bedium, which was, he was a big YouTuber in the time of Attack of the Bee team. He kind of fell off in my mind because he dropped Minecraft and moved to a lot of little game on the side and I can't, I, I don't watch him anymore. Well, Lithium, I think, is for Sir Willis, another person that helps Kathleen, and something called, wait, what is this? Kathleenium? Like Kathleen? Yeah, of course. The highest element on the periodic table is the mod pack creator. And, oh, okay, they're for Venus Crystal. So, this is C500,000 RF. This is going to be a big thing that we're going to get to at some point. We're going to need one Kathleenium and one Slindium to make Venus Crystal, but that's way far off in the future because Venus Crystal is going to be used to make Naquada, to make the Stargate. We're nowhere close to that, but that lets you see how much power we're going to need. So the Nether Star is a lot less expensive than I remembered it, but then again, let's be fair, it is very expensive. And the reason we're getting some broken spawner is for us to be able to craft a spawner because there is a mechanic, if I look at broken spawner there is a mechanic that exists in ender io where you can take any broken spawner and merge it with a soul vial to make the broken spawner of that type that's why we get these i wanted to i've been wanting to get into this for a long time these spawn endermen the reason we get these is that when we need them when we're ready for it and we have an oxygen bubble we're going to put an Enderman down with one of these eggs, and we have two chances of that. And we're going to capture it in a soul vial to be able to make a spawner, and we're going to start spawning Enderman. And we're going to create a killer Joe and kill it. So, you saw the vat, you saw the nutrient distillation recipe and the huge and whatnot. These are all things that we have to start working toward. Uh, then in storage solution, see these are probably quests I can start knocking down just to be able to get them done. The dimensional chest, I, I don't want to do until I can start killing Endermen very easy. And the reason I don't want to start doing it until I can have a setup to kill Endermen is that it takes a lot of Ender Pearl, and right now my Ender Pearl stock is, I feel, fairly limited. Then if I go back into more power, well, this is where we were going. And in the next, for the next episode, I'm going to go through in my other playthrough the minimum setup that we need for an advanced generator. And I'm going to show you the list of crafting material that we need for a minimum setup of a first advanced generator. And what we're going to do is we're going to eagle eye our resource. And the second that we have enough resource to make our first minimal advanced generator, we're going to craft it. And the minimal advanced generator, where we're going to put it, we're going to put it either in this corner right here or under here. Because we're going to need all of that power to mass power these machines. And then we're going to start looking into automating these machines. These machines, not so easy to automate. Why am I saying that? They have very specific input and output like you see there's no there's no this block is where you input and output like i think you input from the top or the left and then you have to output from the bottom i i have to go and do my research again but it's a very specific way of automating them but we're going to be able to start automating them to create these 16 uh copernicum i think that we need and all of the helium and all of that because this is where we have to go. Mindcam is the way of the future. So next episode, I'm going to come back to you with a list of absolutely everything that we need to craft that. And see, we're still going to have to craft the quarry. It wants us to make the craft, the quarry for the quest. And I'm prob if I'm going to build one, I'm going to use it at some point. But the builder block, it's much easier to craft and much easier to use. See, it's even telling us to make an anchor. Like, we're just, we just got ahead a little bit because... To power a quarry, you need a lot more power, and then you need to be able to send it over. I'm kind of taking the easy way by actually um, creating lava flower power on the other planet. And I'm not extracting as fast as I could if I had this power set up, but I'm, you know, getting resource that I need right now, as in the dash. I, that's what I wanted to check here. This is continue transferring power, tra like it's continue transferring stuff but I still haven't gotten an extra 
um, dash. I was hoping to get some more dash, but unfortunately none more has come over. So we're going to start working into these, and I'm really worried about the fact that this is locked. This, I thought, would have unlocked. And even the fact that it's completed, like, it just seems weird. And I'm going to ask Kathleen about that. It might be just a bug with my version. It might be a bug with my world. Or this is a pack that's been not played so much anymore. So maybe it's an open issue that hasn't been resolved. That being said, worst case scenario, keeping in mind that you always see the top right, the time that I'm going, and I, I don't go into creative to just make resource appear, I can go into LAN and make this world creative in front of your eyes to be able to go to HQM edit and edit this quest as unlock opened so that at least I would be able to move forward. But before I do that, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the advanced generator and I'm going to make this capacitor this, which is another form of battery. If this, because the only things that could be a prerequisite to unlocking this quest is this, that, that, or that. Well, this, there's nothing before it. So if it's not unlocked already, it can only unlock from this. Same thing from that one. So this could be unlocked either by, uh, must be unlocked by these two or broken. So I'm going to finish the advanced generator and this before. So next episode, like I said, again, I'm repeating myself, sorry. I'm going to cr get the list of resources that we need to craft all of these. And I'm going to craft the advanced generator just to be able to unlock that one. And uh, then we're going to start looking into these funny ones. Like the stars align, we can start doing some of these, I believe. Like we can make the charger. I think we can make a heart of the star. We're getting to a point where we can make some of these. That Stargate SD Minecraft, we can't start at all. So I'd really like to end this episode on a quest. So let's do internet. Well, it would be nice if it brought the internet back, but instead it's an advanced sorting machine, item router. So let's build an item router. Item router, what do we need for that? Well, we need an eye of ender, an ender pearl, a diamond, and six iron. So two ender pearl, but we just crafted four more, so I'm not that worried about spending some. I need a blaze powder. Oh, the blaze powder might actually be a problem. Let me go upstairs, see if I still have any blaze rod. See, I didn't think that I would have a problem with that one. No blaze rod in here. No. Okay, it's not a uh, kerathin. I have a blaze rod here. So I'm going to break down one right now, and I'm going to make an eye of ender right now. Then I can go get my six iron and one diamond. No, five iron because I already have one on me. And we're going to just complete the item router. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Diamond, and let's make the item router. Like so. So this is another thing that I'm going to work on. Claim reward, reward bag, speed boost. I, I would like to take it, but you know how I feel about this. Reward bag, no choice. That's how it is. It has to be reward bag before anything else. And another Enderman. So at least if I screw up the first two, I get a third chance of doing that. Perfect. So the item router. This is something, I have to be honest, guys, in the first time I played it, I never used it. I looked at it and it looks so complicated and I couldn't find any information in it because I was searching for Rotter Reborn. And this is a big part of galactic science too, because my understanding of it is that it can give resource to multiple machines side by side. So I think that if you have a row of these sieve, instead of having one relocator and extracting and sending to all of this, I think you can put one router at the end of one connect it to a barrel and say, push in the right side or left side, extract gravel and like fill all of them without any cable. So that makes for a very efficient, beautiful, simpler setup. But where I say I have to be honest with you guys, I'm not sure how it works. I'm going to go in my testing world and I'm going to test the crap out of this and I'm going to learn how it works and I'm going to make a tutorial that you can start using it. And I'm going to make that tutorial so I can even use it for the Galactic Science too. So that if you guys are playing Galactic Science 2 already, 
you'll be able to understand how this works and use it because it is powerful. It it permits you guys to create some very beautiful setup. So that's going to be it for today's episode. And I'm going to go into my time lapse. During my time lapse, I'm going to go visit Mars just to see how the builder block is faring. Just try and see why I'm not getting any more dash. And I'm going to set my sieving downstairs for some, starting with the Mars subsurface rock and cooking these Mars cobblestone. I'm also going to try and go harvest my trees outside if it's day. See, right now it's day. So I'm going to finish harvesting my trees and I'm going to plant some more and I'm going to infest them and I'm going to make sure that I continue getting strings regularly because strings is very important. So what's the biggest accomplishment this episode? Actually, it's on Mars. So when I said I was going to go take a look at the builder construct on Mars, I'm going to go right now and that's where I'm going to end the episode. So let's teleport on Mars and it's day. So perfect. At least I can go outside to end the episode looking at it. Let me just break this and let's get out of here. Et voila. So this is my biggest accomplishment today. Guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.